Okay, guys, we're back on Tony Blair, because this warmonger in Tosspot keeps biting his nose into our current situation when no one asked him for his help or even wants it as charity. In fact, most, if not all, people would like to see him in the ICC alongside Bush, but that's another video altogether. Well, today it's being reported that him and his piss-poor institute want this government to start jabbing teenagers or older children for some insane reason, claiming this will prevent a third wave despite the government's own scientists stating we hit herd immunity in the UK on April 12th, which before 2020 meant you had succeeded. These days it obviously means fuck all because the agenda is not complete. This is actually proven by the media no longer banging on about what is happening here to focus on what is happening in India quicker than you can say snivelling shit weasel. Literally as soon as the numbers in the UK don't allow them to fearmonger 24-7. I actually have a video that will be a bit shoot and odyssey exclusive going up on the India situation that won't be on YouTube at all so check out the links in the description for that. But back to this video here, once again Blair is back pushing his agenda like I said. Now, people's kids are in line along with extending the current lockdown by at least a month and using a different jab to the one that we've been predominantly using this time. I wonder why he's decided upon that. The fact he is even saying anything or even has an input on this is complete lunacy, but I don't really need to tell you this much. As we know, these things have emergency approval only with clinical trials due to finish in 2023. Hence why COVID marshals will be employed until then, so to suggest this for kids shows the level of scumbag we're dealing with here. But then again, let's be honest, we actually knew that anyway. As many of you will be sitting there screaming out now, kids are at little to no risk whatsoever, and that's by the government, WHO and NHS's own public declarations. They have said it themselves, so Tony Blair releasing a report pushing this is just bollocks, and in fact leads on to something I have been thinking about for a while. You know, in relation to ex-prime ministers and rich scumbags like them. As a matter of fact, I think I've actually said it before, we literally need laws passed preventing them from having any say whatsoever in the running of this country's, the policies implemented or anything in general. I literally don't give a flying fuck who they are or what they have done in the past. If you're not elected by the British public, jump back in your box and shut the fuck up. Then, as a matter of fact, while we're at it, we also need laws making MPs criminally responsible for the actions they take in office, limit them to two or three terms in Parliament at most, and even have them arrested for lying to the public. I reckon this would stop all of the dirty tricks, corruption and general shit weasel behaviour. It would also drain the swamp because 99% of MPs there now would not stay under those terms. Quite simply, only people who wanted to do what is right by the public and the country would bother to put themselves forward for these jobs. I mean, could you imagine any of the corrupt fuckpigs we have in Parliament at the moment hanging around if they could end up in prison for lying to the public, or being held criminally responsible for their incompetence, which is rife as you know, because personally, I really don't think that they would. In fact, I'm willing to bet money on it they would be gone like a fucking fart in the wind, quicker than they give their mates contracts on the sly. And on top of that, any scumbag like Blair Gates, former Prime Ministers or absolutely anyone else butting their nose in should be arrested for espionage or whatever you would call it. Treason would do me, but either way they should have no say in anything related to this country. We did not elect them and we do not want their input at all. We want them to crawl under the rock they slivered out of and fuck off. Where?